Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. I reviewed this fantastic 3 inch R349 quad from Diatone a few weeks ago. It's super fast and rock solid and is my current favourite quad. But I've had a few questions about how to get this set up. So here's a quick rundown of how I got mine sorted out. So getting the R349 set up is pretty easy. First thing to do is remove the canopy. There's two cap head screws on the top and two on the bottom at the front. Next, you'll need to snip the tie wrap that's holding the dipole antenna. We'll replace that later on. Remove the canopy and then gently prise the UML connector off the VTX board. Take care when you're doing this and use something plastic. And once that's done, you can unclip the connector on the camera and lift the whole canopy away to give you a bit of space. I'll be using an FR Sky XM Plus receiver and there's just enough room for it to fit between the canopy and the VTX with the antennas coming out the back. And all you need is a piece of double-sided foam sticky tape just to insulate it from the VTX and that's plenty enough to hold it in place. And just make sure that the VTX wires are pushed out of the way and there's nothing going to get crushed underneath the top. Next up is the buzzer. Now this has got some double sided foam on the back of the PCB already and it plugs in with this two pin JST and there's enough room just behind the camera to fix this down onto the frame. I think we'll just tidy these wires out of the way first, push them between both the boards as carefully as you can. Then all you need to do is peel off the backing and this will stick direct to the frame. And make sure that you push this as close to the flight stack as you can so that it doesn't interfere with the angle of the FPV camera. There we go, that all fits in quite nicely. So all we need to do now is buckle this down make sure the receiver's in place, and then we can start fathoming out where we're going to route the receiver antenna wires. And now we can get the cap head bolts back in place. Don't do them up too tight just at the moment, we'll go around and sort this out a little bit later. Next up, we need to reconnect the dipole antenna, just feed it through the top, and push it very carefully onto the UML connector on the top of the VTX board. And just make sure that all the wires are neatly tucked underneath the canopy so they don't get caught on the props or anything. Now all we need to do to finish off is to get these antenna wires attached to the arms. I like to do this with some tie wraps and some heat shrink keeps them well out of the way of the props. There's a couple of convenient little grooves between the canopy and the mount that's on the two rear standoffs and you can push the antennas through there to keep them secure. And you can decide which way you want to do this but I'm feeding the antenna and the tie wrap between the motor wires and the frame. Just secure it in place and the antenna will just sit along the top.
When you're doing this, be careful that you don't damage the exposed part of the antenna or snip it off. Next, just get yourself a piece of heat shrink and cut it off to the right length and the antenna will be nicely secured in place. So that's all done, you can tidy up the end and we just need to get the other antenna done. There we go, just finishing off. And we're almost ready to go. This is my preferred way to mount antennas at the moment. It's nice and cheap, it's nice and light and doesn't require any special printing and it keeps the antennas well out of the way of the props even in a hard landing. Just get yourself a cable tie and push it through the back here to hold the dipole antenna in place. To get the battery mounted there's some included foam strips which are adhesive on one side and grippy on the other but they're not quite thick enough to actually clear the battery strap so I found that putting two layers on is just about right and stops the battery being damaged by the screw heads underneath the frame. So the last thing we need to do is to just get some props bolted on Set up beta flight and we're pretty much ready to go. Now all the props are on, you just need to quickly go around and check all the bolts are nipped up and tight, just in case. So they all look good and tight. The last thing we need to do before we connect a battery is just make sure there is no short across the battery terminals. This way you're not going to blow anything up. Again, don't assume that just because it's new and out of the box there's no problems on the board. Just select continuity on your meter and check it out. So that's pretty much good to go. Let's have a quick look at the Betaflight configuration, although there's not too much to set up on here. And you will need a LiPo to power the receiver on here, but that's not a problem. Make sure the props are off, let's get this all plugged in. And I've already checked there's no shorts across here, so we can safely plug a battery in. So let's connect to the quad. Okay, let's check that's working, that's all the correct way round. Quickly calibrate the accelerometer. That's great, let's have a look through here. Ports, that's USB port, that is SBUS, that is the Smart Audio, IRC Tramp protocol, and we've got a spare UART there, that's okay. Configuration. We're on D-Shot 600, which is fine. All these are straight out of the factory. Craft name, and we're set to S-Bus. So all that is good. Power and battery warnings, they're all fine. Fail safe is set to drop, which we will check in a minute. Pid tuning, this is whatever diatone have set which I know is pretty good. I do like a bit of Expo, so I'll crank those up to values that I know work on most quads. It's probably gonna be different on this one because it's a different size. So let's have a look. Grab all good, save. Receiver, everything is working as expected. Throttle your 
pitch. Roll. That's good. I think we've got a low battery there. Let's just swap that out for something else. That's a bit better. So, uh, that's all good. Okay. Modes. So I have my setup in my usual configuration. Angle horizon. Acro. Beeper. That's good. Arm. Excellent. Adjustments, we don't have to do anything there. Motors. So let's do a quick test that everything is working as we expect. Props are off. Click the switch. Let's crank these up. Motor one. Motor two. Motor three. Motor four. Excellent. And you probably can't see on here, but they are turning in the right direction. So quick look at the OSD. And I've got this set up with minimal stuff on the screen I don't like too much warning slap bang in the middle I have my timer one in the bottom left and my voltage the bottom right so that I can see it having this set in the top I found is most of the time it's against a white or very light sky and sometimes you can't read that sensors let's have a quick look nothing to do there and if we look up here we're on beta flight 3.5.1 Good. So, we can disconnect and this quad is ready to fly. Thanks for watching and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.